Hey guys, I'm Louise and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the last video for a while that I'll be doing of a monthly plant haul. But before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video for some more planty content. So as this is the last video of monthly plant haul for quite some time, I have mentioned this in the last video but I just want to reiterate it again. I'm just going to stop buying plants and buying cuttings just for quite some time, probably about a month or two, maybe even more. Only reason is because I just want to enjoy the collection I have already and yeah that is basically it there's nothing else to it i just want to enjoy my collection i've got so many plants that if i buy any more i'm going to just forget about some of the ones that i really really like at the moment so instead i'm actually going to be doing a monthly favorites just to you know um trade in for the monthly plant haul so yeah now i've just spoken about why it's going to be the last video let's get started so I'm going to start off with the plants that I have potted up, so these are just the normal plants. Um, I actually bought a lot of cuttings and wet sticks this month, so I've really got three plants to show you. But these um, wet sticks and cuttings are like, they're like, <laughs> they are very exciting because I've got a lot of new growth on them, so I'm like I cannot wait to show you guys. So the first plant I'm going to show you is um, my... Raphidophora cryptanthia, I think that's how you say it. So I bought this guy and it's so small. Um, there has been no new growth for me yet, but I can see there's a little bit starting to show. So I have actually just potted it up in moss. Um, it came on the little bit of wood with moss on and I didn't really like the look of it at all. So I literally just took the plant off and instead put the moss that was on the board in the pots and then I have um, taped the top part of this plant to the board so hopefully it will just grapple on at some point. Um, this is like the most delicate thing ever like I don't know how I'm supposed to like keep my plant like the, the wooden board from like um, coming away from the um, pot so I literally just grabbed the <laughs> grabbed some string and just you know Tied, tied it round like a million times hopefully it will stay up um it's doing quite well at the moment but look how adorable this is let's do a little close-up for you guys but look at that oh my gosh so this little guy has got um quite small roots but it is buried in the moss so hopefully we will get some really good growth once the roots have fully um grown to the point where they want to give me some new shoots but i do see a little bit of growth not a lot though not a lot that i can show you at the moment but yeah this is my raphidophora cryptanthia the next plant i'm going to show you is a quite like this is like this is something that I would never thought I'd get my hands on, like, ever. And there is a plant in here, like, <laughs> it's just hanging over the edge, just I'm facing it towards me. But this is a Philodendron Cream Splash. Um, this one has, like, a little bit of splash, like, at the very side there. As you can see, it's quite light and it's quite small. But hopefully we'll get some good, like, splash going with this one. So this actually has, like, a really nice little... Um, shoots going on so there's going to be a leaf forming there at some points i'm so excited look how tiny it is oh my gosh look at it you can see right there that's where the little leaf is and this actually came to me rooted so that's why it is potted up nicely in a little pot i was going to put it in bigger one but obviously obviously like you know just keep it just keep it in a small pot if you have small roots keep it in a small pot because you could just build it up to a bigger one and last but not least you saw this in my last video but i think that i should include it just because it is a new plant for this month i bought this month so you know so this is a philodendron milano chrysum absolutely love 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 this plant like honestly i'm so glad that i actually bought like a whole plant instead of a um like a wet stick because i do have one that's like root like a little rooted wet, wet stick it's like got little roots but the whole thing's just starting to rot i'm like holding on for dear life i know i should throw it away i just don't want to you know you know when you just like have like a plant that you're already attached to like a wet stick that like has 
put in some really good growth all of a sudden it just starts rotting and you're like i want to keep it but you know you have to throw it away i'm at that stage in the moment like i'm i just cannot seem to bear throw away even though i have a whole plant now but yeah and besides you know the pencil keeping it up like i love it like obviously i don't have anything to keep up other than a pencil and a bit of velcro um it's only just to keep this plant up because i haven't figured out if i want to grab i think i'm going to be grabbing another wooden board at some point just to put it on some wood but for now i'm kind of enjoying it how it is i just love the pencils a little accessory but um if you didn't see my last video there is a little um auxiliary bud so there's, there's gonna be a new leaf popping out at this bottom um node and i think if i zoom in fully you see right there there is a little leaf right there obviously it's quite difficult to see but it is definitely there and i love this so much anyway let's get on to the cuttings and the wet sticks because i could sit here all day talking about this plant so i forgot to mention another plant that i bought um this month as well and i'm so forgetful like i have this whole list in front of me and i managed to miss it but here is my flidendron panduriform this is the juvenile um uh, version um so this is not um fully formed yet but look how adorable this is like oh my gosh like a bit like you know a bit crispy around the edges but you know she's doing all right obviously she is giving me a new leaf which i'm so happy about i'm kind of thinking of just chopping this bit off like honestly just like trying to like root it or something maybe i try air layering it, air layering it or something like that like i know that you can um you can basically make like a plant like give you roots on like a node um even if it is attached to the plant and it's like called air layering i believe so i think i might try that with this one maybe we should do a video on that because i don't want to cut this off but if this works then we're definitely cutting it off and we're making it a wet stick and you know we're gonna do something with it I i'm gonna think about doing it but anyway this is my philodendron pan dury form absolutely adorable so now we're gonna go straight on to my wet sticks that I have bought this month. So I'm gonna start off with um, something that is not really like a wet stick or anything, but it is a bulb. And this is um, a Stephanie Erecta. I got this, I think about last week, I got, this is like the newest one in my, my collection, like the newest one this month and this uh, this basically is called a potato everybody in the plant community calls it a potato and it's really really it's just funny really i love it um but yeah they grow like into really really nice like abstract like plants they're like they've got like really nice circle leaf with, like really like um it's like a silver like i want to say veining it's like silver veining on it I'll, I'll, I'll bring up a picture and just dump it over here in the corner just so you can guys see but basically you know it's just really really cool plant um nothing has really happened so far as of yet although when i when it had when it arrived it does have a little shoot and i don't think you guys would be able to see it but it's like right there you see a little green dot right there that is a little shoot so i'm so excited for this i literally just have a sunday my grow light like with all my other little plants so i'm really excited about that because i really 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 have always wanted this plant and i just never really like thought about getting one and i was really scared because i've seen other people like totally like have theirs rotted on them and stuff and i was like oh, do i want to do this but anyway stephanie erector the next one as you can see in the in the corner here is a philodendron splendid so this is a milano chrysum um, crossed with a varicosum so that's basically it and this is like fully rooted i don't know if i can see any roots oh there we go fully rooted i don't know if you can see there but here are like some roots right here 
Um, it's doing really, really well. And as you can see, there is a leaf going to pop out any second. Like it's going to unfurl very, very soon. I'm so excited about it because I was look, I was just looking at the roots that was coming out of the this wet stick, and I thought that it that they started to rot, so like right at the very top. And I was so scared. I was like, I literally bought this rooted, and I don't want it to die. And I literally took it out. I I had to repot it back into this sphagnum. But they're fine. They're fine. It's giving me a new leaf. It's going to unfurl at some point. But yeah, this is my Philodendron Splendid. So the next wet stick that I bought, well, it is kind of a wet stick, but we all call it a chunk because of what it looks like. It's like really big chunk. But this is a, I believe, a Philodendron White Princess um, chunk basically because look how thick that is like you wouldn't really consider it a wet stick if i just pull out one of my very cozy wet sticks like look at that and look at this or like a really like oh, where else do i have that you can like compare it to maybe like one of the big like oh here we go so this is like a wet this is what we call like a wet stick like a really like thin like you know stick with a node um, so that was a silvery Anne wet stick that I, I have rooting at the moment, which hasn't really done much. But yeah, so this is a Philodendron White Princess, and I believe to be a White Princess because um, there was this like post um, on Facebook. So there's um, some, some seller on Facebook, and um, she posted um, about White Princess cuttings, and this was within the cuttings, I believe, as a White Princess. And another reason why I think it's a White Princess is because look at that leaf. Like, it's crazy. Like, look at that. It's white. Like, it's got to be, it's got to be White Princess. And also, did you see, there's a little root. The root has finally came out. Like, I was so scared that I was totally going to botch this. And it does have, like, another leaf forming, like, right here as well. As you can see right there, there is a leaf. And you can see here this little white um, bit there. It is a nice new root. All these are like old like area roots. I don't know if they're gonna do anything, but like they're staying. Like the stuff on top um, here are all dried out, so they're probably not gonna do anything. But so the next thing I'm going to show you is a wet stick, and this is a. Um, this is an, an, this is basically what I've already shown you, but it's at, as a cutting instead. So this is a Philodendron Cream Splash cutting. Absolutely love it. It's a bit deformed, you know, but it hasn't really done much. It's it is giving me a little. It's either a leaf or it's a root. I can't really tell. But right now, I think it's just, there's a root down there at the bottom, but the top here, it looks like a leaf, but it could just be a, a root. But I got this one for free, so, well, technically five quid, but for free. So, um, one of the Facebook groups that I am in, they do a lot of um, event stuff online. And this one, they did a charity event where you, it's like a big plant raffle, it's like, there's like a thread for just plants, there's a thread for cuttings, and there's a thread for non-plant related items. And basically you just put in like anything that you want to get, give away and everybody um, buys like raffle tickets. It's like one pound a raffle ticket and you get up to five on like each like item. And you basically, all that money that like for the raffle and everything goes to charity and we all as like a whole group choose the charity and I just, I love, I just love my group so much. Anyway, so I won this one on a raffle and I was so happy about it. The other one I got, the other one over there wasn't for free, I bought it. So, you know, I bought it as rooted, so I'm very happy about that. But I've got two now, so I'm very happy about that. And, oh, I'm going to go for the next one. So this one is really, really small, but like, it's so, so cute. 
So this is a philodendron billy tie cutting. It's so cute. Like, look how adorable that is. Like, it's incredible. It's got, like, a load of, like, nodes knocking about on this. Obviously, you can't really see it, but I've put it in my, um, my cuttings box here. These are, like, the ones I call, like, my precious ones because I've got, like, a load here that, um, didn't cost me, like, a lot, but these are, like, my precious ones. Like, I don't know. I just, you know, we all have, like, our precious, precious little... Um, cuttings and stuff but this is so adorable and I love it so you know I'm really hoping this will root for me because it is unrooted but you know I've heard some things so I'm very excited the next okay we're gonna go into cuttings now these are two leaf cuttings and the first one I'm gonna talk about is my Anthurium crystallanium. So this one I literally am so happy about. So I bought this, um, I was actually gonna buy a three leaf cutting and um, the woman that I was gonna buy it off of, she was like, oh yeah, I'm actually not selling the three leaf cutting anymore because she didn't really want to so she basically took this leaf off the other one so she had like a two leaf and one leaf and she was like i'm gonna sell this one leaf cutting which has started to root do you want it and i was like yes so i got it for like half the price which is incredible and i love her so much but look how i just look at it oh my gosh like this is my second anthurium and i'm really hoping one day this one will give me so many leaves it will give me a flower and then i can cross pollinate my clarinerdium with my crystallanium book that would be so cool i am gonna do a video on my anthurium pollination uh, pollination but you know a slight twist to it so i really guys i hope you kind of stick around for that video at some point just you know hit the notification button just to make sure that you definitely know when it comes because it's coming soon anyway um here is the roots it's just like it just basically started to shoot out so many roots it's got two growth points so it came with two growth points and like tiny tiny roots and these roots are like these roots have grown so much like the two top roots so like here and here they weren't here before like when i got them and it's just crazy i've had this for like a good couple of weeks now i must have got it just at the beginning of march or something like that so I'm really happy about that. And the last one, at least, this cutting I'm going to show you is a philodendron painted lady. So I have seen a lot of these plants and I wasn't really quite sure on it, but I kept looking more and more like at these like plants and like, other people's plants. I'm like, I gotta get one. So there was this woman who was selling loads of like philodendron painted lady cuttings. And I was like, I gotta get one. Like I have to get one. And I was like, hey, do you have any more? And she was like, yes. So here we are. It doesn't have any roots at the moment, but it does have an auxiliary, like has an auxiliary bud and there is a leaf popping out, I believe. As you can see right there, that little pink dot there is gonna be a leaf at some point. And yeah, as you can see, I do have um, wax on the ends just to prevent um, rotting. Um, it has worked for me in the past with my more precious um, cuttings because I really, really, really don't want like my like precious cuttings to completely rot and die off because that has happened to me before and I really, really regret some of them. But I've basically started to just wax the ends of some of them. Not all of them though. The ones I already have that I took cuttings off like plants already have, I don't really bother them. But like... If you've got some precious plant cuttings, make sure you wax the ends before you like propagate them in any medium because you do not want them to die on you if you've, you know, spent some money on them, you know, they're precious to you. Anyway, that is basically it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, as I said at the beginning, this is the last monthly plant haul for a good while. So next month, I am going to be doing a favourite video every single month so once a month i'll be just doing my monthly favorites instead of a monthly plant haul so i really hope that you guys are looking forward to that so thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye